Let us now move on to tables. We have two types of tables that is static tables and table. Static tables are the tables which have predefined members whereas in case of normal tables members are not particularly defined. We will discuss static tables in which we have two types of tables which are simple static table and hybrid table. We have categorized tables in four groups which are statement of profit and loss, balance sheet, general notes and other notes and disclosures. Similarly, in case of normal tables. Now, let us take property, plant and equipment as an example of a static table. We will discuss two ways of tagging a table. One is the copy paste approach and the other is tagging by clicking approach. We will first discuss the copy paste approach which is a lengthy and time consuming process prone to errors. Now go back to the excel file from which the required table is to be filled. We will copy the required data and paste it in the software under the relevant head. This is how you can tag the table by copy paste approach. Then go back to the excel file from which the required members are to be aligned with that showing in the software using the show hide member option. The software will prompt you in case there is any unsaved data before excising this option. From here we will select the desired members and remove the undesired ones. The software will prompt you if you hide a member containing any data. We can also perform the same function for line items and access as well. Now click on go to table option. We will see that we have the relevant items which are aligned to our financial data. We have already covered the copy paste approach. Let us now move on to the tagging by clicking approach. This is the new feature we have adopted to ease the table tagging process. Click on the document option to open the document which is already uploaded in the document master or you can also add a new document. We have to click on top of the excel to move it in left, right upward or downward direction. You can locate the excel as per your convenience. Now adjust the excel as per your need for table tagging. Click on the cell that you want to tag and double click on the cell where you want to tag in the table. The cell you tag will automatically get highlighted. We will tag the rest of the table in the same way. This is how you can tag tables by just clicking facility which is an easier and faster method of tagging. You can also tag to actual data in the similar manner. Next we'll save the data. Now we'll discuss the show all option which helps us see the totals of all the members. The same can be hidden by the hide totals option. We also have the change view option which helps us transform the x axis into y axis and vice versa. Now we will export the data to excel by the export option. We will now close the table and move on to the second type of static table that is the hybrid table. We will take employee benefits as an example of a hybrid table. A hybrid table has multiple axes. One has predefined members and in case of the other you need to add them. For example, we will take provident fund as an example of a hybrid table.
This is how you can fill a hybrid table by using add option. You can add data this way. We have the same features in the hybrid table also as we had in a simple static table. Now we close the table. These were the changes in the new India's based Webex PRL software. For any queries and help, contact on our helpline number and use the ticket raising facility in the software.